What is this, episode 12 of Jarvie's Office? This is from the office. I don't just like to um, be somewhere beautiful. I like it to be right outside my door. Now it's almost there. Those dead trees are kind of not great, but I love river bends. I love hearing the sound of the river. And uh, I've got company coming tonight and then tomorrow. So we got a little space for them. I'm guessing tents. I'm not sure how they roll. Maybe car camping. But I love this. Uh, now, it doesn't meet, beat that lake view I had two episodes ago. That little pond. But I am in a pretty cool spot. And I am right next to a pretty floatable stream. And as you guys may have been listening, I'm doing a decent amount of uh, pack rafting, kayaking. So pack rafts are very small. Look, we got ourselves a little storm rolling in. I think it's probably a little temporary mountain sort of thing. So hopefully the wind's not too bad for you. Because I'm just going to keep going because it's not really going to be too bad. Now, setting up the office took a little bit. I was like, do I want to go all the way over here so I can see a little bit more of this? Um, but I was like, you can't go quite, like, you'd have to go way up there to get the perfect shot. Let's, let's show you. Show you up here. But then we get into this out of the pull through for the spot into uh, someone else's. Now, here's where the perfect view would have been. Now, there is a house, a little bit of private property. Um, this is main road. Cross the bridge, go over there. There's a few cabins, winter cabins. That's not too big of a deal. To me, this would have been like twice as good. Like literally twice as good. But on this, this is this is pretty steep here. I don't really want to deal with that. All right, we got the Starlink plugged in and it's searching, it's straight up. I have not really seen it like straight up like that before. That is straight up, now tell me. You want to love me forever? We are already on a slant, so um, yeah. So had to go up on four of those things, and I can't find my leveler to see if my office is level. So there we go. I've um, I've only really run my generator maybe an hour or two in the last week. It was rainy and cloudy one day, so I did. All right, I still need to replace these windows or these uh, pictures. They are so faded. And uh, a company called Bay Photo said, yeah, we got a good new aluminum print that we think will last a lot longer. Now for this little uh, area, my friends, maybe they want to go down there or they could put a tent here. Yeah, there's two of them. I'm not sure. <laughs> But I really, really like this spot. Let me show you the alternative. It's just, well, this spot was also kind of like separated by trees from these other people's office. <laughs> I call it office. Not too many people come out in the middle of the mountains to work. I recognize that. But, oh, look, someone is already, that black car is already parked in the place where I was previously which is pretty separate, like, you know, 20, 30 yards from this camp. It is obviously a different one, but it was just like I was going to be connected with them. So I won't go walk all the way down there, but let's go take a look at some of the views surrounding the office. And I'll, I don't know, talk about some other random things. Also, it's nice. I'll feel a little more comfortable if it does, if it is cloudy and I do need to run the generator, those br trees will block the sound a little bit and won't annoy the people too much. But man, it comes sunset or sunrise. I just walked right here and I've got a shot. Now, those three were gone. I'm guessing this would be one of the best shots in the whole valley. So I know I don't do quite as much photography, but I am still doing a decent amount. And I get, I think in the last episodes of Jarvie's Office, subscribe now, <laughs> I 
oh, I like this. And we don't have the trees and we can kind of frame it right here. Look at this. That is perfect. No cabin, no dead trees. Um, uh, just, hmm, well, masterpiece. I went through uh, uh, what is called Evanston to get here. So Manila, uh, Mountain View. Stopped at a friend's house in Lyman, did laundry. And then um, came, oh, look at that. Ah, uh, beautiful. Okay, I'm liking this spot a little bit better with just a tiny bit of walking around. I'm still gonna take you over to the, the bridge and show you what's what. Now this is a, a 14 or a 16 day. Why did they switch it to like 16? That's what I wonder. Didn't always used to be 14. All right, we got a little, uh, looks like a tent camping spot over here. I'll pause for a moment. I'm uh, curious, let's, let's read what we got here. A oh, 14, they're 14. Why are some 16? Oh, and we gotta display the the pass. That's fine. I've got actually two because I forgot one once, so I bought a new year one. And a friend's were like, I can just buy a day one. I was like, no, two year ones is fine. My other one's gonna expire in July. And it's been really handy because I've let other people borrow it. So Ooh, there's a little uh, non stream camp up there. I don't know why you do it. The views are about, I don't know, let's estimate 50 times better at my camp spot. <laughs> 50. And on the map, I use Gaia Maps and I scout. I spend like a year, a year, sorry, an hour, half an hour scouting the perfect little spots where I'm thinking about going. And I know how to look at the satellite views and go, ah, that looks like a pretty good spot. That could be a good spot. And it will show me public versus private land. I'm like, okay, this is, this is gonna be good. And I'm often right, and look, I noted that one as the best spot. I think it is. I mean, I haven't seen everything. But frickin' crazy amazing, look at that. I know my friend Casey wants to come here to do Milky Way shot. I think that's where the Milky Way is. He would know better. If it's right there, this would be perfect. Holy cow. All right, let's see the zoom in. But man, I don't, I, I like my uh, Note 22 Ultra. Not, it's not a Note anymore, it's just a S22 Ultra. I love that thing. I'm looking forward to getting the new one. So, all right, let's look here. Rocks are pretty low. That one is definitely decently low. So, oh, oh, oh. A little bit low, not, not like rapidy sort of thing going on, but it could be just a very nice float down the river one of these days. Walk up a couple miles and just float back. Um, but man, it's gonna be shallow, shallow. Maybe, maybe it gets a little bit higher. So, one random thing, if you want to know about rivers, is this is called an eddy. This is a very small eddy, because it's a small, shallow stream, but it's when you have stuff like this, and it blocks flow. So it makes flow harder, which isn't necessarily blocking it completely, but it's making it so most of it is sliding around, and there's not as much um, water pressure going up and over, okay? but it has to fill in. So once it goes around, there is a dip in water pressure on this side. So the river actually kind of comes, swings back. Now there's different um, variations of that, of course. Some are much bigger than others. So, um, uh, and so you'll actually go into the eddy and it will literally take you and your kayak upstream, what you think is upstream. Well, it is upstream, I guess, but that's uh, the fluid dynamics and we are getting some uh, solid wind. I don't know if it's making uh, the video annoying or not. The other thing is I'm testing out the new mission hat that I got at Walmart just now. I am so used 
to shopping at Costco, but I was a little bit lost shopping at like a Walmart or something like that. And I was like, we're not getting as much food as I would normally get. That's too bad because I get a lot more at Costco and I'm just, anyways, grabbed a few pizzas to uh, put in the air fryer and stuff like that. I think I'm actually going to stay here, end the episode now, because um, uh, I really want to take some shots with my cell phone. So I'm going to leave you here uh, down and join campsite where I'll tell me I'll maybe save one of the other spots. I didn't mention where this is, is but the, the title will say it. This is Christmas Meadows. Christmas Meadows. Uintas, Mirror Lake is up and around, where would it be? Over there? 10 miles maybe, five, 10 miles. So I'd say hour and a half, oh, two hours from Salt Lake. Two hours from Salt Lake, it's beautiful. Um, uh, if you think, I wouldn't know if there's fishing here. I will uh, camp and chill with you, fish a bit. If you want to come work, I'll share the internet and electricity and then maybe we can uh, float down the float down the river. We bring your good shoes, your water shoes, because we may be having to get out when it's shallow. But man, it, 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 I think it'd still be worth it. Still be pretty darn cool. So, this is just great. I love this. All right. Talk to you later. Bye. Oh, and then after this is um, Tetons, but more, uh, I did a lot of Tetons. If, uh, I know the episodes were before I started posting to YouTube, and I posted Facebook and YouTube, but I did a bunch of Tetons. Uh, this time we're gonna do more along the Hoback River, Granite Creek, and then Green Lakes, Green River Lake or Green Lakes. Um, so that's up near the Wind Rivers. So, got a friend coming for part of that. And definitely doing kayaking with some other people. Look at that. I'll leave you with this scene. Hope you enjoy it. Bye-bye.